This isn't just another fast car. It's a machine hiding something most people never notice. Beneath its smooth body panels and minimalist interior, there's a force waiting to be unleashed. The kind of force that doesn't growl like a V8 or scream like a turbo. It's silent, instant, relentless. The Tesla Model S Plaid isn't just the fastest accelerating production car on the planet by accident. It's the result of a hidden engineering war, one that pushed materials, physics, and manufacturing to their limits. What Tesla built inside this car isn't just clever, it's borderline impossible. Let's find out why. Battle for speed. Speed in a car isn't just about slamming more power into the wheels. It's about how efficiently you convert stored energy into motion. For years, electric cars had an image problem. Quiet, clean, but slow. Then Tesla flipped the script. The Model S Plaid didn't appear just to set a new 0-60 to 60 record. It was Tesla's statement to the entire auto industry, a way of saying, we can build something faster than your supercar and do it with zero emissions. But making that happen wasn't as simple as adding another motor or fitting a bigger battery. Tesla had to reimagine how the motor itself worked, how it handled heat, stress, and magnetic force at ridiculous speeds. The challenge wasn't getting the car to launch fast off the line. The real battle was making sure it stayed fast, even as the speed climbed higher and higher. That's where the Plaid's motor story begins. Motor basics and efficiency. To understand why the Plaid motor is so special, we need to strip things back. At its core, an electric motor is all about magnets and motion. There's a stationary outer ring called the stator, and inside it, a spinning center called the rotor. One stays still, the other turns. That turning rotor is what eventually sends power to the wheels. But making that rotor spin isn't magic. It's controlled chaos. Electric currents flow through tightly wound copper coils inside the stator. This creates a magnetic field that flips and shifts thousands of times per second. The rotor, packed with its own magnets, responds by spinning faster and faster. And here's where Tesla started thinking differently. They didn't just want a motor that worked. They wanted a motor that was efficient to build and brutally fast at the same time. That's why Tesla kept one design language across its vehicles. The stator in the Plaid motor, nearly identical to the one in the Model 3 and Model Y. The inverter that controls the motor, same story. Even the circuit board used inside that inverter has Model 3 stamped on it. By standardizing parts, Tesla saved production time and money. But here's the twist. They took this simple, shared hardware and pushed it further than anyone thought possible. The Plaid's performance wasn't about reinventing the whole motor. It was about making small, smart changes in critical places while keeping the production line flowing like clockwork. Next came the real innovation, controlling what happened inside the rotor, Plaid's carbon sleeve. Tesla's biggest leap with the Plaid motor wasn't in the number of motors. It was in what they wrapped around the rotor, Traditional electric motors use steel sleeves to hold the rotor together. That works fine, up to a point. But when you're spinning a rotor at 20,000 revolutions per minute, like in the Plaid, things get dangerous. At those speeds, the rotor doesn't just spin, it wants to tear itself apart. That's where the carbon sleeve comes in. Instead of steel, Tesla wrapped the entire rotor in carbon fiber. Not just loosely, either. The carbon threads were pulled tight under extreme tension, then soaked in epoxy to lock them in place. The result? A solid, unyielding shell that keeps the rotor in check, even at absurd speeds. Why go through all this trouble? Because controlling rotor expansion is the secret to keeping power delivery consistent. Every motor has a tiny gap between the rotor and stator. This is where the magic of magnetism happens. The smaller the gap, the stronger the magnetic interaction. That's what gives the car its neck-snapping acceleration. But here's the problem. As the rotor spins faster and heats up, it wants to expand outward. If it grows too much, it risks touching the stator. That's catastrophic. To prevent that, most manufacturers build a safety gap, larger than ideal, to give the rotor room to grow. Tesla didn't want to make that compromise. By using the carbon sleeve, they forced the rotor to hold its shape even under extreme centrifugal forces and rising temperatures. This meant they could keep the gap incredibly tight, just microns wide. 
That tighter gap translates to stronger magnetic force and more torque at higher speeds. This is why the Plaid doesn't drop off in power as speed increases like earlier Teslas did. It keeps pulling harder and longer thanks to that carbon-wrapped rotor holding everything together. This wasn't just a material upgrade, it was a performance unlock. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. One motor design. Tesla's secret weapon isn't just engineering, it's the manufacturing discipline. While other car companies design unique parts for each model, Tesla takes a different approach. Build one great motor and use it everywhere. That's why the Plaid shares so much DNA with the motors from the Model 3 and Model Y. Same inverter housing, same basic stator design. Even the control boards inside the inverters are nearly identical across the lineup. But there's one twist with the Plaid. It runs three of these motors instead of one or two. Two sit at the rear, one for each wheel, and a third powers the front axle. Running a motor for each rear wheel has another hidden benefit. It removes the need for a traditional differential. In most cars, a differential allows the rear wheels to turn at different speeds when going around corners. But it also adds weight, friction, and energy loss. By giving each rear wheel its own dedicated motor, Tesla sidesteps all of that. Each motor can deliver exactly the right amount of power to its wheel, independent of the other. This setup doesn't just boost straight-line speed, it also improves cornering control and traction. Fewer moving parts, less energy loss, more control. It's a textbook Tesla move. Simplify where you can, innovate where you must. Magnets and gear ratios. Raw power means nothing if you can't turn it into usable torque. That's where magnets and gear ratios step in. The permanent magnets inside the plaid motor aren't your everyday components. They're significantly stronger than the ones Tesla uses in its standard motors. Sandy Monroe's team did a simple but telling test, measuring how much force it took to pull a metal bolt off the surface of various rotor magnets. The results? The Plaid's magnets required nearly twice the force compared to those inside a Mustang Mach-E rear motor. Even when compared to the magnets from a Model Y or a BMW i3, the Plaid came out far stronger. Stronger magnets mean greater magnetic fields interacting inside the motor, and that translates directly to more torque and faster acceleration. But Tesla didn't stop there. They also tweaked the gear ratios. Unlike gas cars, Teslas don't use multi-speed transmissions. They rely on a single fixed gear ratio to connect the motor to the wheels. The Plaid's rear motors use a 7.54 to 1 gear ratio, compared to 8.996 to 1 in the Model Y. This lower ratio means less torque multiplication off the line, but much better high-speed efficiency. Combined with the powerful magnets and the tight rotor-stator gap, it allows the Plaid to deliver forceful acceleration and sustain it at higher speeds. It's this balance, magnetic strength, and gearing that help the Plaid defy normal EV performance limits. Rotor Build and Safety Inside the Plaid's rotor lies one of Tesla's most unusual engineering choices, a layered, star-shaped core made from hundreds of thin laminations. Sandy Monroe's team counted 529 individual star-shaped metal sheets stacked tightly together to form the rotor's iron core. Why so many layers? Because thin laminations reduce something called eddy current losses. Less energy wasted as heat means more power making it to the wheels. Then there's the cap that holds the magnets in place. It's not bolted or welded. It simply floats, secured by the magnetic pull of the rotor itself. This floating cap design was unlike anything Monroe's team had seen before in an electric motor. Tesla claims this approach increases torque and power capacity by up to 25%. And just when you think the surprises are over, there's one more, a built-in safety feature buried inside the inverter. Tesla installed a micro-explosive fuse that's designed to blow in the event of a catastrophic electrical fault. It physically separates the motor from the power source within milliseconds. This isn't just a software shutdown. It's a literal mechanical disconnection. 
an extra layer of safety when pushing voltage and current to extremes. Between the star laminates, floating caps, and that explosive fuse, the Plaid motor is more than just fast. It's a controlled, deliberate system built for extreme conditions. Conclusion The Tesla Model S Plaid wasn't built just to grab headlines. It was Tesla's way of solving an engineering puzzle that most automakers hadn't even attempted. Creating the fastest accelerating production car meant rethinking motor design at every level. From the carbon-wrapped rotor that holds itself together under brutal forces, to the oversized magnets delivering raw torque, to the manufacturing efficiency that keeps costs in check, every detail serves a purpose. Tesla didn't just want to win drag races. They wanted to prove that electric motors could outperform combustion engines, not just at low speeds, but all the way through the power curve. The Plaid's motor isn't just a part, it's a statement about pushing limits, about what's possible when you blend physics, materials science, and manufacturing disciplines. So the next time you see a Model S Plaid launch off the line with barely a sound, remember, it's not just acceleration, it's the result of years of engineering obsession hidden beneath the surface.